What's going on fellow fixers? I'm Jeremy and I'm a fixer. I've got another video for you today. This one has to do with this. This is a Fisher Price Rock and Play and it's great for the baby because it automatically rocks. You just plug it in, set it to a timer, it's got a sound machine and it just rocks that baby right to sleep. But it's not working anymore and I've got to figure out why. So let's get to it. So this is how this thing works. If you notice down here, there's a little foot. And when it works, that little foot comes out and rocks this sucker up and down. But now, when you turn it on, it doesn't do a thing. All right, so full disclosure, I have actually already fixed this thing once before. And there's a little black, or actually it was gray, I think. Think of it like a vacuum cleaner um, band that keeps the rollers moving. It's essentially how this thing was working, but it broke. And so I fixed it temporarily one night with a rubber band, but clearly it broke again. So let me show you how I'm gonna fix this thing permanently. A lot of troubleshooting things is just tearing it apart and trying to figure out what makes it work. So let's dive into this. I'm gonna take it off and we'll see if we can figure out what's going on. So there you can see the broken rubber band. And this is how this thing works. So the rubber band, or actually the band that they had on here, goes like so, and it rolls that roller, which causes, notice whenever we move this slightly, you see how this move causes the foot to go in and out. So we just have to replace that band. And this is how you do it. That is just a black hair tie. You gotta make sure that it's one of the smaller ones so that it has enough tension to drive the motor. So let's go ahead and put this on. Just like so. And that's it. Let's put it back together. Alright, here's the moment of truth. If I can find how to plug this thing in. Oh, there it is. Hey, look at that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I've got a video right here that I think you might like. I put a link in the description below that has a link to the part that I use, the hair tie size that I used to fix this. So go check that out if you need that. And as always, get out there, fix something. I'll see you on the next video.